In this episode, we're going to focus on conditional execution. InSpec provides utilities for you to conditionally execute controls within your profiles. Both the language of Ruby and InSpec are what we're going to demonstrate here today. So let's get started. Let's first focus on a situation where we may be trying to assert the location of a Git repository on both a Windows and a Linux machine. On the Linux machine, we would assert that the path happens to be at this location. We'd run the branch command and hope the results show us that we're on the master branch and that the command executes without an error. We run this against our Linux installation using the SSH protocol to connect to it and see that it passes. Now, we'll run it against the Windows installation and we'll see that it fails because obviously the Windows machine doesn't have the same file structure that we found on our Linux target. So we are now going to write a control for our Windows target. Very similarly, we're gonna define the command. We're gonna use the git command with the git dir here because we can't specify a current working directory with the command resource. And then we're going to run the same branch command and we're going to execute it against our Windows workstation. Now, here is where we get into trouble. The Linux instance is now passing for the Linux control and failing for the Windows control, and vice versa. The Windows control is passing for the Windows control or test, but not for the Linux part. Ideally, we'd be able to choose one or the other, and that's where the describe one command comes in. What we're saying here is that we want to allow one of these to pass. Now, both of the conditions within one describe block has to pass, but only one set of those tests have to pass. So we see here when we target the Windows machine and the Linux machine that we have everything passing for both our platforms. If we evaluate the control that we wrote in the last exercise, we see that we mostly repeated ourselves except for the path variable. Here we're using inspect shell to log into that machine, and we are going to ask it what families it belongs to. And then we're going to ask if it's part of a family. We can define a logical structure here in Ruby that says, if it's Linux, define this path. If it's Windows, define the other path. However, essentially we are defining a default and then overriding it. So here I've made the Windows path the default. And if the target is Linux, we're going to override it with the other path. We then define the control, and inside that control, we're going to use string interpolation. Between double-quoted strings inside of Ruby, we can escape out and insert variables using the pound curly brace curly brace syntax. There are still more ways that we could tackle this problem as well. We can define controls and we can make these controls only execute when certain conditions are available. So here we're defining a control called project on Windows. And within that control, we're saying only if the file path for the Git repository that we would expect to be on Windows happens to exist. The result of this, would, if it's true, will execute the control below. Now what's nice is that this will only execute on our Windows system and will not execute on our Linux system. But you will see in the results that the tests were skipped because it did not meet the preconditions to make them pass. Finally, let's take a look at supports. When we start developing our controls and find that we're switching between multiple platforms a lot, it may be important to split out our profiles into different platforms. And using the profile metadata, we can define what platforms our profile supports. Here, I'm opening up our inspect YAML file, which contains the metadata for our profile, and defining that it supports the OS family of Windows and then executing that profile against the Windows system with the controls that we defined before, and we see that it passes. When we attempt to scan a target using this profile, we will instead get a message that says that the target operating system is not supported. We see that there are many ways in which we can conditionally execute controls. If you'd like to learn more about InSpec, check out other videos in this series, our documentation, or our tutorials.